So a couple of days ago, I received this package from Wa Vitek. He's from Statesboro, Georgia. And he sent me his full face helmet so I could customize it for him. So there's several styles of helmet, like the full face helmet that he sent me. And then there's a half helmet, which is basically the top of a helmet that's been chopped off. And sometimes they have a spike on the top. And what's becoming very, very popular are these three-quarter helmets. And sometimes they're called open-face helmets because they come in a lot of cool metal flake retro styles. And with the open face, people can see your cool sunglasses and your beard. But the first step to modify this is to remove the face shield from the helmet. The face shield just slips right off and then flip the helmet over and remove all of the padding. Then take a straight edge and line it up with the current face opening of the helmet and draw a line on that angle all the way to the bottom and carefully cut along your precision line. So this cut ended up very sharp and angular, so I'm going to sand off a radius. And on these plastics, make sure you use open coat diamond paper. So that looks badass. Just make sure when you crash, you don't land on your face. Make sure you land on the side of your head or on the top of your head. Now I just need to fill in some of these holes and vents and things before I lay down some sweet silver metal flake. Don't use assembly tape. They actually make a painter grade assembly tape that's made specifically for paint. Prep is important. Just hit the whole thing with regular diamond paper until all the sheen and the gloss is gone. After complete sanding, wipe the entire helmet down with regular methyl ethyl cassetone. So I'm going to give it a coat of metallic silver primer and that way it'll be a good base for when I lay down my metal flake. And before spraying, Make sure you wear gloves, a full face shield, goggles for eye protection, and a respirator. Sweet. So I'm going to take this whole thing outside so it can dry. In the meantime, I can make my silver metal flake. For the silver metal flake, I'm going to use aluminum because it's nice and shiny. If you don't have aluminum in the UK, you can get it through Nickel Town Customs. So after you have this stuff chopped up into a bunch of little pieces, here's the real trick. So for badass awesome metal flake, just grab your wife's slap chop. It's got a bunch of sharp rotating blades and all you do is stick it in your chopped up aluminum and start slapping this thing until you have the right size and consistency. That's some nice looking flake. Because I don't want to get this metal flake everywhere, I'm going to do everything in this box. So I'm going to use a little hairspray as glue, and then I'm just going to do a couple small areas at a time where I'm going to spray the hairspray on and then I will sprinkle on a little metal flake. Just keep going. And then just keep reapplying the glue and more and more metal flake until you have a good even coating. So I've got a couple of touch up spots but it's looking pretty badass. I should send some of this to Baker X Derek. That is bad ass flake. So to seal the flake and to give the helmet a nice smooth finish, I'm going to use 2K clear epoxy paint. Make sure to push in the activation button on the bottom of the can and shake the can for at least 15 minutes. And make sure you have a smooth even coat. 
now that the epoxy is fully cured I'm going to install some nice chrome trim around the raw edges of the motorcycle helmet where I modified it. I'm going to start at the back and work my way around and that way the seams are somewhat hidden. So this is very nice looking trim that gives it a finished look and you can barely see the seam in the back. Okay, wah, VTech, your badass custom silver metal flake helmet is ready to mail back to you, along with five out of five Ichiban Moto stickers. If you have something you need me to fix or modify for you, and subscribe for future Ichiban Moto videos. It's also badass if you like them and share them with your friends.